In this video, I set out to create one of my most ambitious artworks ever, whilst I try to redefine my illustration style. Let's get into it. Before we get started, please hit that like button to let YouTube know that you enjoyed these types of videos. It really helps me out. Anyways, the illustration that you will get to see me create in this video took me over 20 hours to complete, and it's probably my favorite artwork that I've created this far. It's not a commission, but a personal piece that I created with the intent of defining what my art style is, which perhaps sounds quite strange since I've been doing digital art for over 12 years at this point, but I found it absolutely necessary for me. Because when I'm looking back at my career, I've been a bit all over the place as an illustrator. What I mean by that is that I never really settled for a particular style that I would call my own, and I felt that I lacked an art style that would distinguish the type of artist that I am, but I've been making an effort to change that. Don't get me wrong, it's really beneficial to master several styles of illustrations, because it enables you to take on more work. And at the end of the day, you're running a business, and that means catering your work accordingly to what the client wants. However, there are no shortages of illustrators and designers out there, and therefore it can be very beneficial to distinguish yourself and your portfolio. I figured, why not make an effort of doing that whilst I'm working on personal art such as this project? By having an art style of your own, you will likely be able to find clients tailored to what you seek to create, and it also creates a higher value of your work. What I've realized is that you should make the art that you yourself like to see. Think about it the next time you're scrolling through Instagram, Behance or whatever social media you prefer. Which art pieces makes an impression on you and why? And then ask yourself, does your own art meet that criteria? If the answer to that question is no, then perhaps you should reevaluate your own art style. I found myself looking back at my own art and feeling kind of bland. Somewhere I had lost my way. I really enjoy seeing the works of artists like Brock Hoffer, Mikael Gustafsson, Cesar Moreno, Ten Hundred, and Kipto on my timeline. All of these artists have a lot of shared traits, namely good attention to detail, crisp lines, but most importantly a fantastic use of color. And it's the use of color that I personally want to improve for myself. The world isn't black and white, and neither do I want my art to be. Like the great Jim Carrey, I needed color. I felt like this was the natural step to elevate my art, and therefore I will pursue making more colorful art pieces with a lot more depth to them. Speaking of which, this illustration might have been a bit too much to take on as a first test, but I needed a piece that encapsulates what I want to achieve. This illustration is a definition of who I am as an artist, therefore I felt that I had to get it perfect. One of the main differences of this illustration was that I decided to incorporate the line art as part of the coloring process. By coloring the line art, it adds another dimension to my art that I had previously neglected, and I love the depth that it creates. I did start to lose confidence in my ability to pull it together, and I knew that it would take a lot of hours to complete the artwork. But once the head of the phoenix and snake was completed, I started to gain confidence in the piece again, and buckled up for creating what felt like an infinite amount of scales and feathers. If you saw my video of the Medusa poster artwork, you are well aware of my opinion on working with scales. I knew, however, that I was onto something with this artwork, and I pushed through, and with each stroke the piece started to tie together beautifully. Working with the vibrant colors felt great. And each time I opened the illustrator file, I felt happy and excited to continue working on it. This was one of those illustrations that I just could not stop thinking about. And spending the 20 plus hours creating it felt like nothing. Which is a rare feeling for when you've worked over a decade. And if there's one takeaway I want you, the viewer, to remember from this video, it is make the art you like to see. It really is that simple. When this video is over, take a look at your portfolio and try and judge if you can distinguish your style and if not, make sure to do so. If anything, it's a fantastic journey to embark upon. I'm not saying that I will only create colorful illustrations in the future, but I will make an effort to do so for personal illustrations. And hopefully, my commissions will start to head in that direction as well, but I suppose only time will tell. I'm just happy to create work that I'm genuinely proud of creating. We're starting to wrap up this artwork, which of course means that it's time for the final reveal. Let's cue the music.
And there we have it. I'm super pleased with the outcome of the illustration. I think it achieves exactly what I sought out to do. Please let me know what you think of the artwork in the comments below. If you really like it and want to support me, you can buy prints of the artwork on this plate. Links are in the description below. And if you haven't already, please check out my previous video here on YouTube and make sure to subscribe.